What's up, lovers? Today I am visiting a friend of a friend and uh, he has an art studio. So I want to go in and show you what type of art he has. And I think he's here too, so maybe I'll talk to you, to him. So this is the place. Let's go in. So he's a painter. This is crazy. It's Crazy. Do you see this? This is like paint, and that makes a face. That's crazy. He said no. This is him. All of this is from him. Let me see if he's gonna wanna talk to us. He seems busy, but I'm gonna try to make him talk. Trying to figure it out between those places, Japan. So guess. Yes. Yes. You wanna say hello? Oh. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça, Ça va? va? Oui et toi? Comment êtes-vous aujourd'hui? Ça va, merci. Ça, bien? Yes. Bon. So, all of this is you? Oui, ça, ça, ça c'est mon uh, atelier. Ok. Je travaille ici uh, chaque jour, chaque deux jours. Ok. Jour. So, I gotta translate. So, you say, uh, yes, this is his art studio. Well, I'm not gonna pretend I'm French. I'm from Philly. You're pretending. Ok. <laughs> So he said that uh, this is his studio and he works here every day. Yeah. Okay. How long you been doing this? I've been painting for 30 years. 30 years. Mm -hmm. How did you start? I picked up a brush. That's it. <laughs> no, here's the story. You see that right there? Which that one? magazine? The magazine. This? Joyce? Yeah. Joyce. And okay. You see that, that illustration? Right there? Yes. I said the illustrator of the mud. Okay. And this is for uh, uh, Christian Lacroix. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, and that was in 1987, right? Yes. And I, I, uh, and I, and I was very sad when they edited it and, and they put it in that magazine. Mm -hmm. And they cut the arm off and made it really little. And I was almost in tears. <laughs> and it was Christian McCall who said, maybe you should be a painter. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And so I went to a bullfight. Mm -hmm. Toho, toho Mashi. Toho Mashi. Is yes. That mm -hmm. And uh, that was that changed my life. I came back to uh, Paris, and then went. I got the money for doing that uh, magazine cover there. Mm -hmm. And I went back to New York, and I actually taught myself how to paint by going to the museums and um, bugging the people at the art store, okay. Pearl Paint on Canal Street. So between the art art supply store and the museums, that's how I learned how to paint. So by yourself? Yeah, and guess what year? 1988. 88, wow. How long it took you to get good? Am I good? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How to get to get good? Hmm. Okay, so I guess, well, I don't want to answer that like that. So I saw my first real painting mm -hmm. was in 1991. Okay. My first so real only, painting. Only like what, three years? Yeah, I'm a fast man. I learned gymnastics in three years, actually, to make the top team in the country. So I, I moved fast. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, it was, uh, I made my first uh, $10,000 check mm -hmm. in 1992, 93, sorry. Okay, so. And I said, oh, this shit might work. And uh, then uh, I was in Soho in New York, and voila. I, I heard my first. I want to tell this story. How much time we have? Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story because this is a story about life and you're trusting the universe. Okay. All right. So one day my apartment was really tiny because I used to sleep on the roof of on Sullivan Street. Okay. And so because I had to save my money. So later I saved that enough money to move into the apartment, and it was on Sullivan Street, and then it was very small, and. Uh, you know what? Follow me over here because I just got the urge. Okay. <laughs> and I have to tell you that's the way it works. If I get the urge to do something, I gotta do it right away. All right. So, so, uh, so here's a here's a lesson about how the universe works. So, my apartment was really little. Mm -hmm. So I brought my canvas outside, and uh, I was painting. A painting of Charlie Parker. Okay. On the sidewalk on my little easel, right? And uh, and uh, I had the earphones on, and uh, I felt a tap on my shoulder, and I turned around. It was a guy from Italy. His name was Ricardo Bovelli. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, he said, that, that's a beautiful painting. And I took my earbuds off and I said, thank you. And then uh, I put my earbuds back on. And then uh, he tapped me on the shoulder again. And he said, how much is that painting? Is that painting to sell? Or is that, is it? Without skipping a beat, I said, it's $5,000. Okay. <laughs> right? And then uh, I put my earbuds back on. Then he tapped me again and he goes, I'll take that painting. Wow. Then I said, Ken, have you ever heard me tell the story before? Mm -hmm. And so I said, uh, okay, so give me $500 and let me finish the painting up. <laughs> you come back and you know pay for it when I, when I feel. Mm -hmm. I said, I live right up here. So I took him upstairs. This is where I live, you can trust me. So he peeled off like $500 and he left. When he left, I ran out to Spring Street. Mm -hmm. My idea was to take this $500, see if I could rent somebody's basement. Okay. And, uh, and then, what happened after that? So this is how the universe works, you ready? Mm-hmm. So I was, uh, Walking down the street, 
with that 500 times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so I'm walking down S S uh, Spring Street and I hear my name, Chaz Guest. And I turn around, there's this tall white guy, mustache. I was like, how, how do you know, know my name like that? He said, you were one of A.B. Grossfeld's gymnasts, right? Oh, wow. Gymnasts? Hey, well, yeah. Then I was like, oh, I, I remember you used to sell uh, gymnastics equipment, yeah. And I said, well, what are you doing here in Soho? He said, I'm opening this art gallery right here. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> and I said, hey, John, oh, can I give you $500? <laughs> <laughs> Rent your basement, do Oh, you can use the basement? All right, great, great. Make a long story short, I took that $500 and I bought the uh, cheese and wine mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And with that $500, and I went back, I got all of my paintings and put them in, in there and bought the cheese and wine and stuff like that and called everybody I knew in New York. And they called everybody, and this is the eight, this is the nine, this is different. Mm -hmm. And uh, the line was around the block. I called Roberto to come get, I mean, uh, Ricardo to come get his uh, uh, painting. Mm -hmm. And he peeled off $4,500 right in my hand, took the painting. And uh, I sold about five more. That's how I started my career. That is crazy. And John gave me a three-year contract in the gallery. How old were you? I don't know how old I was. <laughs> yeah, I do know how old I was. Hang on. I was 32. Wow. Yeah. 31. Yeah. That's an awesome story. Yeah, so you have to trust, right? Mm-hmm. You have to trust the universe and how it works. Because, uh... Let's see. Is he going to fit in there? The universe is a very powerful thing. It's very powerful. And, uh... And, uh... I said this twice. That's the story. Nice. And uh, so you know, if you if if when you believe something, the universe then cons conspires with you. You know. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that about about life. You know. And. Uh, so, so then also, uh, there's this woman, she was from South Africa. She had a gallery across the street. And you know what she told John? Mm -mm. Nobody's gonna buy those paintings. Mm-hmm. Cause they're, they're of, of black people. Mm. You believe that? I can believe that she yeah. said that, yeah. Yeah, and she said that, right? And, uh, I saw the whole damn show uh, right in front of her face. She was right across the street. She had to watch that shit. <laughs> Did she ever say anything? Huh? Did she ever say anything? No. She didn't even know that I knew that she said that. Mm. I used to just look at her. I made sure that she knew when I sold the paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I said, I'm, I'm quiet, <laughs> How long did you live in France? Uh, I would go back and forth there because then I had a girlfriend over there. You know, so that, I, you know, back in the day, the airplane was like a trolley. Uh, you know, not a trolley, what do you call it? it was like a, you know, was like a, 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 a what do you call that? The, you always go, uh, Charter, like a charter bus or something. Okay. You know, I was always in Paris. You know, it was very, it was very different than it is now. Very different than what it is now. So this dude, you know who that is? No. That's a guy by the name of Bass Reeves. You know how they do in America? They take all of the heroes and mm -hmm. they make them white, European, right? Okay. So the real Lone Ranger was this black man. You don't know who the Lone Ranger is, are you? I don't. The Lone Ranger was a sheriff. Sheriff. He was a sheriff. 
right? Mm -hmm. And uh, but I have to figure out a boss ass pose. This is a little bit fun. Uh, Maybe I'll take a long ranger pose or something. That's nice. All right. This guy has been waiting for this thing to pull up and get it out of my system. He just got inspired by this. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is it. You guys saw it. <laughs> 